This is the Grow My Clinic podcast by Clinic Mastery, where we help you deliver amazing client experiences to grow your clinic. Well, welcome back to another episode of the Grow Your Clinic podcast. My name is Jack O'Brien, and we have a special guest with us today. I'm really excited to introduce you, but before we do that, I'm going to create a little bit of suspense, and I'm going to ask that you do me a favor. If you could head to the podcast player of your choice, whether that's iTunes or Spotify, Stitcher, wherever you listen, if you could leave us a review and rating, we would so appreciate that. It, essentially, it's what enables us to be able to reach more and more health professionals in business to grow their clinics. And so we would really appreciate an honest review and rating, obviously five stars if you think so, but if we deserve one star, you're more than welcome to share that with us as well. But thank you so much for your feedback. We love hearing from you on a weekly basis. We have people reaching out to us from the podcast. So it is really exciting for me to receive your comments. So you can always get in touch. It's jack at clinicmastery.com. But enough about me and us. We have Shelley Jacobson joining us today from Flexi Pillow to speak all about products and how we can enrich the client experience for our patients through the use of innovative products. So Shelley, welcome to the podcast. How are you? Good, thank you, Jack, and thanks so much for having me on board today. Appreciate yeah, it. Our pleasure. This is going to be good fun. I know that uh, I'm a fan of Flexi Pillow. I've got two, and uh, I absolutely love it. Been sleeping like a baby ever since they arrived. So I'm uh, I'm an avid fan. But before we get into the nuts and bolts of the pillows, tell us about Shelley. Who who are you, and what, what is your background? How did you end up working at Flexi Pillow? Well. Let's put it this way, I've always been in a sales environment, marketing environment, and I have been in real estate with ticket items, and I've run my own manufacturing and uh, marketing business. Right. And this, this company, Flexi Pillow, is a family business, and I joined that to actually um, develop a healthcare professional channel of right. supply. Of our yeah, right. And so you've been working in the family business for a while now? Yes. It has, look, it's been about five years, full on. Right. But um, I, I feel I've got a lot of customer experience um, mm -hmm. and I can only enhance that. And that's why I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I love it. And I, I think I always love chatting to people that don't necessarily have a healthcare background. I think there's so much for us to learn as health professionals from those who have been in sales or in real estate or, or those types of domains, you know, yeah. I think real estate and healthcare, as much as they're, you know, in some ways opposites, they share a lot in the sense that you build relationships over a long period of time for something that really matters to people, whether it's their home or their health. So uh, I'm sure there's heaps we could learn around that front. So tell us a little bit more about FlexiPillow. You said it's a family business and it's got a healthcare range. How does that work? Okay. FlexiPillow um, came about from a company called um, Pillow Science. We try to fit pillows to each person, but unfortunately it's very hard to um, accommodate everybody on one pillow. Right. Sure. And we found that our healthcare professionals were actually asking us um, to try and develop a pillow that could be pretty adjustable but not take up too much room or had to help hold a lot of stock. So, but, you know, it took a bit of development, but with that we have um, put out a very good range of uh, pillows that have, have a few sleep technologies and um, are actually going very well in helping uh, healthcare professionals in their clinic back up their actual service that they actually provide patients. Yeah, amazing. I think we might um, we might dive into the range a little bit later, but before we go down the flexi pillow rabbit hole, I think what uh, you know your area of expertise will be able to help our listeners in and around how products can yeah. enrich the client yeah. experience. So I'd love to know from you. Yes. Can you can you explain perhaps some clinics or some scenarios that you've seen where clinics are using products really yes. amazingly? Uh, the, yeah, you know it's, it's 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 quite a question you ask because it really varies. The most important thing I believe is that when a healthcare professional 
believes in a product and they believe it is the best product and it would be it's very easy for them to uh put forward that product to a patient a client okay so it actually helps the process of their service if they have if they're treating somebody for they're using a i'll talk product sparky ball in the treatment it really enhances the value of the, um, the consultation that the patient can do that at home. Sure. So, therefore, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a natural progression. And okay. it's not a, yeah. That, that's really important. Uh, if I can go down that rabbit hole and pull on that thread a little bit, you said that health professionals really need to believe in the product enable to use it. How do you think, how can health professionals do that when it feels like sometimes the, the sales reps from all the product lines, uh, uh, just pushing spin at us. What do good health professionals do to learn about these products? Good, what do good health professionals do to learn? Well, first of all, I think they need to see there is a need for a product or something that can, if, if you're treating someone for um, some injury, it's not just about what you can give them in that consultation. Right. It's the whole experience of mm -hmm. from you know when you walk in and you can see what's available in the clinic whether it's you know even front staff then you talk about the actual consultation then you talk about well how can i further develop i'm here to help this patient how can i extend the value that i provide so if they can actually understand that and they're open to looking at a product they need to find a good one or the That's a really one. good point. I think it's a good consideration for health professionals because you might see a patient for 30 minutes or 60 minutes a week. Yeah, maybe one or two appointments a week. One hour out of their 168 hours in a week. I would suggest that it's incumbent on us as health professionals and health clinics to broaden our perspective and see what products we can offer for the other 167 hours of the week. Yeah, if, if we do some, some hands-on therapy or perhaps some exercises for their neck while they're in the clinic for an hour, what's the chances a pillow could enhance and support that for the other 160-odd hours of the week, right? I'm glad you brought that up because basically if someone is going in for, let's say, um, a sore neck and they're not sleeping well, uh, it's very well to, either if manual therapy is needed, you know, that or whatever sure. therapy you will soon, but if the problem is the pillow they're sleeping on. No amount of therapy is going to fix that. Yeah, so it makes sense yeah. that maybe they need a pillow that is soft enough and comfortable enough, but firm enough for support. Mm -hmm. So therefore, it's a good idea to have something like that in your clinic that you know works, mm. and you know the patient will actually maybe limit not limit but they don't have to come to you every week for treatment sure. you know? it's a good consideration Shelley I know that a number of the clinics that we work with inside our business academy which is where we help uh, health clinics to grow rapidly a lot of the clinics in there have created a bit of a matrix yeah and so if a patient comes with a headache or a neck complaint that there is a uh, let's call it a range of products that they could potentially offer if they come with a shoulder complaint, there's a set of products. Or a knee, here's a set of products. And so it, it helps the health professionals to choose when they're prescribing a management plan to go, you need to do this manual therapy, these exercises, and this product. That's your prescription for you to get better. Shelley, on the education piece, uh, I'm sure that there's many clinics that get in the sales reps to come and do a demo of the products. And I know you do a similar thing. How can clinics get the best out of their sales reps? When you're coming and, and bringing the products and showing us, how do, we, how do we learn best? How do we get the best out of people like yourself? Okay. We understand firstly that your time is very valuable on an hourly rate. So we have, I would have to accommodate that and put the most important information to first. I would make an appointment. I would really try and show you why our product is the one to go for. Sure. I would 
uh, sort of train you on how to hop that. You wouldn't know how, but on how to actually fit a pillow. I would get you to try the pillow, and I would really sort of hope that you would take that pillow and try it out for yourself. Okay, so you're saying don't just don't just sit there and listen. We should get down, have a lay down, and have a feel and compare. Absolutely, because ultimately, it's what you feel is right for you and your clinic, and mm -hmm. it's going to do the job. But you'd want the best products you can have in that, you know, that people can't go to, let's say, a general store or, a, uh -huh. you know, and yeah, retail store somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. So if you're going to provide the best one, you want to try it first for yourself. And it's okay. actually quite, quite important that I believe the staff within the clinic tries it out as well. It's a good point. In our clinic, we've decided that we give every one of our team members, both therapists and CEOs or client experience officers, reception staff, if you will, we give them all a pillow. For them, and if, or, yeah, or if it's orthotics or a foam roller, we, we give them to our staff so that they can, te sorry, I shouldn't say staff, team. We yes. give it all to our team so that they can experience it, especially our front office team or our client experience team, because often they're the ones doing the selling, if you will. Uh, they're the ones fueling the inquiries from patients. This is exact. You perform this, perform. You're giving a server. Right. and the um, prescription within the consultation. What happens outside with the CEO and other therapists is where they can talk about, and if they don't know, how can they do what you're doing? Mm. Like, would you say that it's useful for clinics to have some demo pillows laying around for patients to try out? If that's for patients to try out within the clinic, yes. Whether they take them home is, is a uh, clinic decision. But I do believe staff should, staff, CEO, should <laughs> understand the value and know what they're putting forward because that's basically whether they try it themselves. It's a good idea to have training for them, believe it or not, on these yeah. pillows so they understand. Yeah, that's really good. And Shelley, can you tell us about the, the retail environment and the retail experience? Are there any tips or tricks around how to present our products in our yeah. welcome room spaces? Yeah, and that's a very, very good question. Yes. First of all, you'll have a clinic that has a lot of space. You'll have clinics that only have one or two rooms. But the biggest issue I think we're dealing with is space. We've, um, it, it's very good if you can to use a stand that can, a proper stand that's been marketed with the product. Because mm -hmm. you're not just selling one pillow, you're selling the whole experience of our marketing and our promoting our product. Uh, some people would use them in their, uh, rooms themselves. They'll have them on a shelf or they'll have them on the bed. So displaying clean lines, minimal, not over servicing anything. Um, yeah, sure. it's, it's really just about having a product there because if it's not there, it's very hard to talk about it to your mm -hmm. And I know I'm putting you on the spot here, but I know you're also a retail expert. Is there is there a way we should perhaps pitch or compare products? Should we have say the highest on the top shelf, as in the most expensive? On the top shelf, or should we show patients the most expensive and then down sell from there? Is there any retail insights around that type of thing? Well, the only thing I can say is you don't really market the most expensive to the least expensive or anything like that. You would actually look at that patient's need, and if they need it or they prefer this feel, it would be that that one you would actually. Promote. Knowing that your pricing is within what a customer would, customer, a patient would be able to um, pay. Because you don't, you don't really know that what a what a patient can. You just assume, oh, they can't afford it, or right. Yeah, they're there to get help, 
and you give them the, the best pillow. So if you have a choice of pillow, give them the one that would actually suit. I really appreciate that, Shelley. And I think that will resonate with health professionals a lot because we, we spend most of our time diagnosing their problem or understanding what their concerns are yes. and crafting a solution that solves that problem. We're not trying to peddle or push any particular products. We're trying to find solutions. And so I think that makes a lot of sense. And that is how we teach our clients inside the business academy to do oh. deliver management plans in a way that is best care or best recommendation in terms of you know, appointments and sessions. But the same is true for products, is we make our best recommendations according to the solution for their problem. And if the patient decides that they want to invest in that solution, that's their choice. It's, it's, not our, it's not our place to judge and to predetermine what we think they can afford. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Can you specifically talk, Shelley, to Flexi Pillow? What is it about your pillows that are so awesome? Because <laughs> I know there's some things that set you apart. So tell us about Flexi Pillow. Okay. Um, basically, when we started, there, there was already a pillow around that was doing a good job um, in, the, in adjustability. But we found that to sort of get one height in a pillow, a lot of customers had patients sort of had to, you have to you try out like four different heights. So that means you have to um, stop four different heights to get the correct height. Yeah. And then what about the foam? So that was just not conducive to a healthcare business. Also, we have the, we, we make very high quality foam. Okay. We have the adjustability where all our pillows in the healthcare range are adjustable to four heights. Yeah. And the adjustability comes from the back. So if it is too high you um, on each side, you can remove a base, right. which actually gives you a lower profile, another two uh, sizes. So it keeps the, the uh, integrity of support through the pillow. And we, also, we have that in latex, we have that in gel, and we have that in memory size. So okay, so if I, can, if I can repeat back that just to make sure we understand, it's your pillows are adjustable. So you don't need, a clinic doesn't need to carry a high profile and a low profile. It's just that one, no. and we can chop and change it, maybe high profile at the back of the pillow and low at the front or whatever. Correct. Okay, and then there's a specific healthcare range, is that right? Yes, yes. The healthcare range is our contour range of pillows. Okay. So obviously in healthcare, most, I say most practitioners, but a lot of therapists recommend a contoured pillow for the correct support, for you know, okay. to have the um, neutral alignment. So mm -hmm. that's, that's where the healthcare contour okay, pillow. Right. That's awesome. And what's the difference between memory foam and latex? Latex pillows are organic. And what we mean, they're made from the sap or the, the milk of the rubber tree. Mm -hmm. um, it's a natural mm -hmm. product. Um, I think if people have allergies, they would most likely be put onto the uh, latex pillow. Mm -hmm. The memory foam is just, let's say, a, um, a man-made foam that's molded to um, your specifications. So we also have the gel pillow, which is a layer of gel that's molded into the um, a different kind of memory foam. So gel that, sounds very luxurious. <laughs> it's quite firm. But the good point of that is, um, you know your body gel pillow, the gel pillow will be bought by people who have, uh, who are, get hot at night, they're hot, sweaty sleepers. They'll be bought by people who go through, should I say, menopause, it helps with your sort of thermostat. Mm -hmm. But also it relieves, it's, it's a very comforting feel, and it's really good for trigger points. So okay. that's, so you say, and the real reason why 
gel could be most beneficial. Mm, that's awesome. Thank you. And there's also a travel pillow. I know I have the travel pillow. Uh, I've travelled with it. It's fantastic. It is a little dynamo. I, look, I have to say that I will not go without that pillow. And what is it? our harmless pillow, and it's just brought down to, like, honey, I shrunk the pillow. So it's, it's a little miniature, but the, the real thing about this is that you can actually roll it into a little barrel um, holder. But the thing, only because of the quality of the foam can it actually come back to its original form. And um, I have, invariably, there's people traveling all, all, all year around, and they want to take their pillows wherever they go, but it's quite cumbersome. Mm. Yeah, it's absolutely important. I think if you think about, for those clinic owners, to think about the patients that might be that high-end or corporate traveling all the time, yeah. and hotels have hard and soft and big and small, and they're so variable. To have a consistent pillow really does make a massive difference for your patients and clients that are traveling. And so I love that yeah. option. Yeah. It really does sound like a pillow ticks so many boxes. Yeah, it does. But, and I thank you for that. But uh, a little story just quickly. I was overseas in America last year and I was using my travel pillow and we got a, we went to the airport to go to the next um, uh, destination. And I realized I'd left the travel pillow in the hotel. And I'm in the taxi going to it. No, no, no. The anxiety of not having that pillow. So I actually phoned that hotel and got them to send it to the next location. Mm, I love it. Shelly, this has been really insightful, not just on you know your product specifically, but on how clinics can get the most out of their product suppliers, maximise the retail experience for patients. I think that's been fascinating. So thank you so much for your time and contribution. If people want to learn a bit more about what it is that you do specifically or to get in touch, have you got a website or an email that they can get in touch with? We do. We have, first of all, we have our website, which is www.fixedpillow.com.au. Or directly on my record email, um, myself, it's Shelly, it's S-H-E-L-L-E-Y, J, at flexipillow.com.au. Awesome. And we'll make sure we link all that up in the show notes so that people can, uh, can find that, they can get in touch with us and we can point them towards you. That would be fantastic. Shelly, have you got any other words of wisdom for us as we wrap up this episode? Um, Jack, I actually have so many that I, I, I can't even think of one. But I, I, I do uh, think that the nature of healthcare and the whole industry is changing. And it's becoming a more holistic approach and it's becoming more a uh, technology-based system. And I think people really have to think outside the square and think of I don't, you know, to keep up with what is happening, basically. Yeah, I totally agree. Um, we're going to do the right thing by our patients, and that means keeping up to speed. If we don't lean into technology, we're letting ourselves slip behind and doing our patients a disservice, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so that's basically one of them. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. Shelley. Well, we'll make sure we link it all up. Listeners, you can head to flexipillow.com.au or get in touch with Shelley directly. Uh, thank you so much for listening in. We do really do, like we said at the top, appreciate your honest reviews, ratings, or just getting in touch with myself at jack at clinicmastery.com. Or you can find all of the show notes over on our website at clinicmastery.com forward slash podcast. That is the place to go, clinicmastery.com forward slash podcast. Shelly, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. Listeners, thank you for your time. And we look forward to bringing you another episode of the Grow Your Clinic podcast again really soon. Bye for now. This is the Grow My Clinic podcast by Clinic Mastery, where we help you deliver amazing client experiences to grow your clinic.